Hello and welcome to another edition of City Beat. I'm your host, Tamika Keenan Norman, and as you can see today, we are not in the studio. We're on location at the Maria V. Howard Art Center at the Imperial Center, and I'm so excited today because they have a new exhibit on display called Peanuts Naturally, and here to talk to us about that is Jennifer Rankin, our arts education <laughs> specialist. First time on City Beat. Yes, first time, super excited. Yeah, <laughs> we're excited to have you, excited to be here. You know, I looked around a little, but you're gonna show us all this neat Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, welcome, yeah. Absolutely. But since this is your first time on the show, tell us a little bit about what you do. I'm the education specialist for the Art Center, so mm -hmm. I do classes, workshops, field trips, um, student shows, special events, kind of a little bit of everything, but I get to do a lot of the fun parts, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like fun, yeah. but a lot of work too. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about Peanuts Naturally. Um, so it's an exhibit by the Schultz Museum, and it's one of only two. Uh, that they travel and it's been all over the United States. It came to us from Tennessee and I think after it's here it goes to Oregon maybe or mm -hmm. Washington State somewhere. Um, it's an, an exhibit that helps people get connected to their environment mm -hmm. so they can touch things, they can move things around. It's a first for our galleries to have interaction. Um, there are things that people can touch and people are a little nervous about that but it's okay. <laughs> Because usually you're told not usually to Usually you don't touch, yeah. um, but there's a lot to do, um, mm -hmm. and it's very informative. There's a lot of text panels and information for the adults. There's a lot of cartoons for all ages. There's um, crayons and markers. There's a lot to do. There's touch um, screens and um, things that move and electrify, and it's pretty cool. Okay, now yeah. you mentioned the Schultz Museum, mm -hmm. and for those who don't know, What's, who's Charles Schultz? So Charles Schultz wrote the Peanuts and drew the Peanuts cartoons. Mm -hmm. um, so originally they were the little folks is what they were called and he um, sold the strip and they, the new owners named it Peanuts. So he didn't originally name it Peanuts and wasn't a big fan of it but it kind of went gangbusters and was really exciting. Um, and so it was in um, I think seven or ten uh, Sunday morning strips originally and now it runs in thousands across the um, country and across the world on a weekly basis, I think, okay. but it's all over the place. So it's um, all the characters, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and Woodstock, and um, Linus, and all the originals are in there, um, and they're in all the cartoons that we have on the property. Isn't that something? I didn't know it was called Little Folks. Originally, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. originally. Yeah. But um, tell me, can you tell us a little bit about the comic strip for those who may not know? Because it may be a younger generation is like, oh, I'm not sure. Sure. That is. So yeah. the characters are all friends and they it it's, follows them throughout their day. So mm -hmm. they go into activities. Um, Char Charlie Brown and his dog Snoopy do things together. And Snoopy is a little bit more of an active dog. So he rides motorcycles and plays basketball and has his friend Woodstock. And so it's just kind of following them through their lives and, and their interactions together it's really funny there's a lot of humor in it it is good mm -hmm. it is good. And I think this generation would love it just as much as adults like us absolutely did. Uh, now tell me a little bit about why you all decided to do this particular exhibit um, I think we hadn't done one like this before so I think it was kind of a we wanted to see what, what would happen what mm -hmm. we would get but um, it was highly regarded and recommended for us to do mm -hmm. um, and we took about three years to build up to be able to get it so it was a lot of work to get it started um, but the, the exhibit and the actual product that we got is fabulous. They did an amazing job packaging it. And the pieces that we got, we got an enormous amount of cartoon strips, uh, memorabilia. There's little piggy banks with um, Snoopy on top. And there's um, music boxes that actually work. And so the actual um, pieces and parts to the exhibit are amazing and worth the money to do it. So, okay. so what do you want folks to learn about nature? when they come to this exhibit? I hope that they take with them that there's that they get to affect nature. So they are part of nature, so the things that they do will change it. Um, there's a recycling station about what you recycle and the, the idea that you can, and then there's another station where there's a list of the things that you do to change the environment. And just having people understand that they get to change the environment around them, maybe will make them think twice about some of the decisions they make, some of the power that they use, some of the things they throw away, mm -hmm. um, eating vegetables grown in a local garden as opposed to maybe buying them from the grocery store and having them at home, and um, maybe just help them make some different choices and understand what's around them. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's take a look. I don't want you to show us everything because I want sure. folks to come out <laughs> and see the rest, but I want you to show, maybe, show me maybe three different sure. stations that would be really, really interesting for folks to come out and see, okay? Absolutely. So we're gonna go with Jennifer. Come on and follow us. So we're here now. Jennifer is gonna show us some very interesting parts of this exhibit, even though everything is interesting. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't <laughs> wanna show you everything. You have to come and see everything. But what is this? So this is uh, a, a model of an eclipse, of the moon eclipsing 
um, in front of the sun. So you can turn the little dial and it makes the moon move around the earth. Um, but if you put it right between the earth and the sun, it will actually do a, a lunar eclipse. Hmm. And then we've got information on that and there's uh, models and diagrams and stuff to explain it as well as all the comics around this are part of that. So they're part of the solar system and learning about that. So okay. each little area has their own touch station and touch things that you can move and twist that light up and um, and then all the things that go with it are actually part of it. Okay. And so let's want, move over to let's here. Over here on this side. So this is about the constellations. Mm -hmm. And if there's a crayon in there, if you want to grab that. Okay. Um, and you can actually make your own constellation. So there you can see some of the brighter stars like they would be mm -hmm. in regular constellations. So you go from here to here and you can connect them. You can draw all over it. Maybe your constellation is not normal looking. That's fine. <laughs> And then you push this little button over here, and it'll show you the real constellation, so you can oh. see how they interact. Okay. Um, and then you wipe it off, and you can do it all over again. That is neat. Let me try one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you just connect. Connect the bigger dots. And there are some of the smaller ones, too, but... I can't even connect. You can do it this way, or you could... You can cheat and you can put it on there and draw it while it's lit oh. up. Oh! <laughs> well, that doesn't look like anything, does it? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> we all express in our own way. Yeah. <laughs> So what times can people come out to see the exhibit? So we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and then Sunday, 1 to 5. And you can come for free. We're free anytime you want to come. Oh, free. That's, that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Even no better. charge. <laughs> so let's go over here and see more about nature. So this is our birds section. So we just left the um, solar system area. This is all about birds. Um, there are little birds in each of the um, different stations, and you can pull them out. They're all attached. And squeeze on it and it'll make the actual bird noise. Okay, and that's a barn swallow. Yes. Okay. And then there are comics on these pieces as well as around them to kind of reiterate that. And some of this is trying to decide what woodstock is, what kind of bird woodstock is. So it's a little bit of what kind of birds make what kind of noises and where might they live and they look different and that all birds aren't exactly the same. Okay. Um, Let me try one more. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can touch this wood duck and see what he sounds like. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty fun. In each station, there are extra um, of these little strips of paper, and these come with the exhibit. Um, mm -hmm. They're, uh, they're, made, they're um, media made for it. So they're, it explains kind of what the, the section is, and then there are to-dos and to-knows about the section. So even if you came up by yourself, you could go through and grab one of these from each station and kind of understand what it is that they want you to learn about it and kind of help you interact with it. So it's very friendly for interaction. Okay, mm -hmm. so I know we need to go. Let me try this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bird one is the free one. <laughs> okay, let's go over to the garden. Okay. So we've just come from a long walk, and now we're here at the garden, Peanuts Naturally. So this is another one of the interactive active stations, um, and it's the idea of planting the seed and growing the plants. So at this se section, you can actually come over, and we have little beans. You can put them in here and plant them down in the dirt mm -hmm. and um, they come back down here so you can pull them out and kind of keep reusing it okay. and we have little watering cans so you can pretend water all of your plants get them to grow and then inside the greenhouse there's a little example of uh, there's boots in there and buckets and there's plants all stuck in there and watering cans so you can see them growing inside the greenhouse and discuss the idea of a greenhouse with some of our kids mm -hmm. and then on this side they actually have the plants, so they can come in with some gloves um, and they can actually pick the plants out of the ground. So they can come in and pull up the onions and pull up the celery and carrots and um, radish and all that good stuff. So it's a little bit more interactive and they get to see, oh, plants actually come out of the ground. Okay, okay. <laughs> and not just out of the box. <laughs> and some of them feel pretty real too, like I was feeling this earlier. The potato yeah. is very real. It feels so good. <laughs> But um, tell us once again, Exhibit Peanuts Naturally is on display now through? Now through the first week in January. Mm -hmm. um, and we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, 1 to 5. And we're free every day we're open. Okay. And for folks who want any additional information, what do they need to do? They can call 972-1266, um, or they can come by or check us out on the website at imperialcenter.org. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is really neat. So I encourage all of you to come out to see Peanuts Naturally at the Maria B. Howard Arts Center at the Imperial Center located at 270 Gay Street. And of course, 
Thanks to Jennifer Rankin. Thank you so much for Absolutely. joining us today. And after you visit Peanuts Naturally, you have to go to our gallery shop. So that's where we're going next. We'll be right back with more of City Beat. Sorry, but it's over. Is it the lying? No. Is it because I still live with my parents? No. The 200 bucks I stole from your purse? 250. Is it because I took your sister to Hawaii and not you? <sighs> no, Jerry, that wasn't it at all. Then what is it? You don't recycle. <laughs> what? Hello and welcome back to City Beat. I'm your host, Tamika Keenan Norman, and if you're just tuning in, boy, what an exciting show. Gotta say thanks to Jennifer Rankin. We're here at the Maria V. Howard Arts Center, which is located at the Imperial Center for the Arts and Sciences. We just had a chance to take a quick glance at Peanuts Naturally, the exhibit that's here upstairs. And now, of course, after you visit the exhibit, you have to visit the gallery shop downstairs at the Maria V. Howard Arts Center. And here to tell us more about that is Miss Emmalyn Wheeler. Hello. Hello, and how are you? I am fine, thank yeah, you. Yeah, this is Emmalyn's first time on the show, so welcome to City Beat. Thank you. Yes, and what do you do here at the gallery shop? Well, I basically manage the gallery shop. I do the ordering. We mm -hmm. have a vast major a vast array of um, gifts here in the gallery shop which ranges from pottery to fiber to jewelry and a great deal of our artists are local mm -hmm. and about 98 percent of our artists are North Carolina local. We try to be faithful to our state. Um, we have a lot of talent here. That is excellent. And you know, when I was walking around, I said, wow, wonder how long this gallery shop has been in existence and here at the Maria V. Howard Art Center. Do you know that? Uh, since 2006, when we opened the um, gallery. All right. And as I was looking around, I said, man, they have some really unique pieces here. They look really good. How about Christmas is right around the corner. Anything that would make good Christmas gifts for people? Oh, we have lots of good, good gifts for everybody. Um, jewelry, clay, fiber, you name it, we've got it. And it is priced, whatever price point you want to spend, we have it here. Um, and I gift wrap, so that's always a good thing. Okay, so is the gift wrapping an extra cost or is it? No, it is entirely free when you purchase your gifts. That is excellent. So are you going to have any sales or discounted items coming up for the holidays? Probably not for the holidays. We have had a big sale recently. Mm -hmm. So um, there are no plans at the moment. Okay, so folks have to just contact you to find out what's going on, exactly. right? <laughs> okay. Exactly, exactly. So what can folks do to find out additional information? Of course they can come down here, but if they need to contact you as well. Well, my phone number is 252-972-1163. Okay. and ask for Mrs. Wheeler. All right, Miss Emmeline. I want us to take a look at some of these interesting pieces that I was talking about. Let us know what you think folks may be interested in. Don't tell them everything, because we want folks to come down here and all see, right. uh, see it all up close and personal. All right, <laughs> okay. okay. So Emmeline is gonna take us on a short tour. All right, Miss Emmeline, tell us about this section. All right, this is our wonderful glass, got, uh, John Gessie from the western part of the state. We have our wonderful scarves. They're silk and felted from a um, woman in Little Washington. Mm -hmm. And also um, handmade jewelry. Everything in here, of course, is handmade. But our handmade jewelry, our wonderful pottery from Seagrove, the star, we have several of those. He is a gentleman from Little Washington. Wonderful pottery from a young man from Wake Forest. He was in the corporate world and decided he wanted to make pottery. So we have several, uh, lots of styles, different shades of glaze. We have another star. Uh, some of these pieces are Matt Gibson's. He teaches school here in Rocky Mount. Um, we also have um, metal art from a young man in Greenville named Jonathan Bowling. And then we have these handmade pocketbooks that are actually made of clothesline. These are very labor intensive. And then she covers each piece of clothesline with fabric and as you can see, she stitches them. We also have wonderful bird houses. Um, 
a retiree here in Rocky Mount takes reclaimed barn wood and makes these wonderful birdhouses. So if you have a friend or a relative that loves the outdoors and loves birds, these birdhouses are wonderful. So you are you were serious when you said this was local. <laughs> yes, this is very local. Folks actually do a great job. Now when you come in, do you accept credit cards? We do. Okay. okay. Credit cards, cash, and checks. Mm -hmm. What are your hours? We are open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5. Sundays from 1 to 5. Okay. And um, also, are you expecting some new inventory to come in as well? We are. We're going to get some Christmas ornaments, hand-blown glass ornaments. We will. I've contacted two young women here in Rocky Mount, Rhonda Dunn and Kendall Cobb, and they make what are called candy cottages. Mm -hmm. And you can decorate them any way you please. And they are also recyclable. This is from it's called New Salem Pottery. They are old patterns that were actually used way back, way back. And this um, company, which is in the western part of the state, is, uh, has been filmed in The Patriot and The Last of the Mohegans. This um, earthenware was used in those two movies. So, um, and some of these plates, I guess you can sit on your coffee table and your you kitchen can. table. You okay. can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And everything we have in here is food safe. Okay. So, uh, you could actually serve in these. And I think the patterns are just beautiful. They really are. They're so different. They are. I like they it. really are. All right. And then on our grand piano, we have some more Jeffrey Lloyd. You can see it's a different color. Mm -hmm. And speaking of color, it's like everything just blends in. It does, mm -hmm. it does, it does. And we have our price ranges in here are from $10 to several hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. We also have um, Ben Burns and Dean and Martin Pottery from Seagrove. Um, this has been a really nice seller. Some more yard art. This fella's name is Wayne Webb. He is again an Edgecombe County man. Wow. Lives out in the country and he does wonderful yard art. There's some out in the um, uh, gallery here. So, Emmeline, how do you find out these folks who do art? Do they reach out to you or? Some do and um, some we reach out to them. We research them okay. and um, find out, you know, who are. In fact, I've been researching vendors the last week. Okay. to um, maybe have some new vendors here in the shop. Mm -hmm. So how often do you, would you say you do that? Or just oh, depends? several times a year. And mm -hmm. at, like, we're getting a little bit low on this, so we will probably, we're going to see Grove in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and we will probably see what we can get from Dean and Martin. Okay. So uh, we try to keep it as local as we can. Okay. And something I, the public might be interested in, we have a cigarette machine in here. And it's funny, they have a following. This is an old cigarette machine and it now holds original art. So you give me five dollars, I give you a token, and you choose your piece of art that you would like to have. And it's about the size of a cigarette pack. Oh. And it is original art. That is so nice. It's just five dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And children love to buy these because mm -hmm. they've got some art mm -hmm. and it didn't cost a fortune. Exactly. <laughs> well, Emily, tell us one more time, how can folks reach you and what are your hours of operation here at the Art Center? Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, mm -hmm. Sundays, 1 to 5. And you can call me at 972-1163. And don't forget, we got to remind folks that you do gift wrapping, Christmas gift oh, wrapping Oh, yes, as well. I do gift wrap. Yeah, and it looks so good, too. Thank you. I might need you for that because I can't wrap well I'll at all. help you all I can. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> thank Emily. You. We appreciate you thank being part you. of the show today. And thank you for tuning in as well. Don't forget, check out Peanuts Naturally. 
on display now through January 5th, 2014. Some great interactive stations. It's just a great exhibit. And once you're done, come down here, Maria V. Howard Art Center, first floor of the gallery shop. See Miss Emma Lynn, she'll, she'll greet you with a smiling face. <laughs> <laughs> and check out all these wonderful gifts. And you can also, if you have any additional uh, questions, log on to Imperial Center. Dot org. I'm Tamika Keenan-Norman. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of City Beat.